You don't demand anything, Jakaya. Certainly not from her. If you're risking your life out there, I'll demand what the clan requires. What's going on? It seems I'm a child in need of a parent. You're Mandalore, the Avenger. You have responsibilities to all of us. So you often tell me. Who's this? Jakaya Ordo. One of my best. He managed to avoid my notice for too long, but now I've put him to work. Though I'm having second thoughts. I would gladly go back to being an unknown Great Mandalore. I prefer the talk of warriors to the endless jabbering of politics. <laughs> the curse of being skilled at both, you old rancor. <laughs> so you're the one. Not sure if I should call you Commander. Most people do these days. Understood. You earned it. The fact is, Commander, I only know your reputation. I don't know you. It's my job to take a hard look at anyone this close to Mandalore. I had a lot of dealings with your kind, Sith. I'll never understand what drives you, but I respect your focus. I've worked with Cher a long time with no problems. What changed? You don't clean a gun when you're under fire. I keep things running around here because everything has a place. Except you. It was time to get your measure. And? I've seen your face. Looked into your eyes. That's what I wanted. Satisfied? For now. Good. I'm sure you have more important things to do. Some clan grumbling to track down. More than the usual complaints. Ras and I will check into it. Jakaya out. Ras? His brother. They're a family of Mandalorians. Lost a sister a few years back. Hmm. Something wrong? That's the first time he's mentioned a clan issue. He oversees a lot of the day-to-day -day details without a word. Do you trust him to deal with this? Yes. If I didn't, he wouldn't have my support. I may grow restless at the jabbering of politics, but I will do right by my clans. He's better for rooting out this kind of thing anyway. He kept an assassin's knife out of my gut more than once. Tell me, Commander, how would you deal with unrest in the ranks? If a group has a problem, it's usually for a reason. Maybe they see something you don't. We have more in common than I thought. Mandalorians must be allowed to speak out, to think for themselves, to be effective. Chikaya demands order, everything working together as a whole. I understand, and it keeps it all running, but I don't work that way. Well, looks like I've got reports to review on escort missions we've been overseeing. Chikaya snuck them into the transmission. Sneaky Chikar. I'll leave you to it. Did you learn anything from the clans? Nothing I haven't mentioned before. A lot of heated words. Some are saying Mandalorians are just glorified couriers. Still unable to see past their next fight. All tactics and no strategy. However restless you are in the position, Mandalore, you sound like a leader. I sound angry. My blaster is still a better negotiator than I will ever be. What about the escort runs? Silence. But only a fool would believe they haven't heard something. What happened? Some of the cargo ships we were looking after ran into trouble. Mostly scouts sniffing around. But one exchanged fire. We've been looking into it. Jakaya. Commander, we meet again. I've been keeping an eye on you. And? Mandalore was right to stand by your side. I do what I can. Modesty. Hmm. Tell me more about these cargo runs. Who would attack Mandalorian ships? That's the real question. They're well equipped and they know our methods. You need to get ahead of this. Everyone knows the Mandalorians are looking after some very valuable goods. Very tempting. Agreed. But it's not common bandits or even an ambitious cartel. This feels different. Like they're testing our defenses. I know you object, Mandalore, but we must look closer to home. I don't object. I just want to be sure. Would some of the clans really go that far? I'm not ruling it out. Like I said, there were some heated words. Like Shay said, we need to know more before we jump to conclusions. I understand. But something is making my trigger finger itch. We should have clapped down harder on the clans when we had the chance. The wound has festered. 
No, Mandalorians aren't droids. We're best when we don't have some restraining bolts at our neck, even if it costs us. Agreed. You go too far and you risk losing control. And sometimes, too much freedom leads to chaos and destruction. Enough. We gave our word to protect those shipments, and we will. Understood, Mandalore. I'll see if I can draw the enemy out. Can't fight what we can't see. If I'm lucky, I'll make them mad enough to come out and play. Jakaya out. I'd prefer a fight to all this sneaking about. Agreed. Keep me informed. Count on it. Make the jump on my order. Not a moment sooner. Understand me? Good. There you are. I need your help. What happened? My advisor, Jakaya Ordo, has gone dark, overseeing a cargo run. There's been trouble recently. Some of our escort missions have been harassed. I recall you discussing it with him, yes. Right. Jakaya was trying to flush this group out into the open. We both knew something big was coming. Looks like it's here. What do you know about this group? Not much, except they've ramped up their efforts. They know our methods and are careful to stay out of reach. Jakaya was commanding my flagship, the Spirit of Vengeance II. It takes a fleet to even slow that beast down. Whoever they are, they came prepared. You know, I expected somebody to take their shot at me. Even looked forward to it. But this is the work of cowards, not warriors. That's it. Jakaya's last known position. I'm bringing every ship I can find to that location. Meet me there, right behind you. Bring an inferno, my friend. Vore. Perfect timing. We have a situation here with the Spirit of Vengeance. I see that. We need to get you on those ships if we're going to turn this around. Understood. Can we cut the tethers? We tried, and almost ripped a hole in the spirit. Board each enemy ship, drop the power, and then deal with the tether. Is that clear? Of course. I'll clear a path to the closest ship. Fast dropping Ras Ordo for ground support. He's motivated. That's his brother we're looking for. I remember. Any word from Jakaya? None. We need to move fast. Just get them out of my way. Honor has just arrived, Mandalore. Badly, I might add. I'm Ras. You need a bandage or something? Maybe later. We've got some tethers to deal with. That we do. You got one. You and the tiny one will be a nice bit of fun before ripping apart the spirit of vengeance. Field Marshal Cole will reward me well for your heads. The tiny one is wondering if you ever stop talking. power keeps engaging the shields. Can you fix it? We just need to shut it down. That'll take care of the tether shields. Do it. Okay. Overriding safety protocols.
Ras, progress. I'm getting there. One sec. Ras. Done. Shield is down. Now, how do we cut the tether? Shay, we need a little help. Hang on. Nice moves, Mandalore. No word from Jakaya yet, so that force field must be blocking comms. Cut that last tether. Only one way to get over there. This ship. I like to move with the escape pod. Clever. You just don't run into idea people anymore, you know? And then Shay swooping in? Wow! <laughs> Almost a shame the Marshal wants you both dead. Just try it. That's the spirit. We like to earn our money instead of rolling over a bunch of delicate flowers. Boring. We're Darmanda. Don't care about Mondo politics. We just like getting paid. Speaking of which, I'm gonna wrap this up. That engine leak you caused is messing up my favorite ship. Okay, wait. Wait. You got me. No need for this to get ugly. Or uglier. It's getting hard to breathe in here. But you got a bigger problem. And I'm the only guy who can fix it. The controls are locked. The field marshal made sure nobody could scatter when things got tough. I didn't like it. But what are you gonna do? And you have a fix. I have a transport. A way out of here. A nice one. Take a look at the panel over there. I got part of a passcode. Let me walk away. You get the rest. Go. No. But if I don't get that code, my whole clan hunts you down. Don't worry, kid. A deal's a deal. Who's in charge here? That guy isn't the mission. Saving my brother is. Okay, good news. I got the rest of the passcode. Bad news. He wasn't kidding. The engine leak will kill the remaining crew unless we seal it off. What do you want me to do? Can't have them coming back for revenge. Ignore it. You're the boss. Get us to the last tether ship. I don't think she's Varad or Darmanda. Just a guess. I regret my association with those rack ghouls. Extreme times call for extreme measures. Field Marshal Cole promised the Ashad the relics. They belong to those who believe in honor. Shea Vizsla does not. All this was to steal a few relics. They are priceless symbols to those with honor. A reminder of what the Mandalorians once were. We stand with the Marshal, and you stand in our way. Can anyone hear me? This is Jakaya Ordal aboard Flagship Spirit of Vengeance 2. You hear that? Jakaya's alive! Life support failing. Under fire. If you're doing something, do it now. Let's go. Can't we go any faster? All remaining crew must gather on the bridge. I repeat, the bridge.
Field Marshal Cole. In the flesh. I wanted to personally thank you for illustrating the weak points in my plan. It won't happen again. A piece of advice? You're on the wrong side of this. Why are you doing this? The Mandalorian legacy. And revenge. Always revenge. But you don't see it. A shame. Because a Sith should understand that power must be earned and not given to the highest bidder. Enough! What do you want, traitor? If it isn't Shay herself, as predicted. Answer the question. You've made the Mandalorian servants. That won't stand. But enough about me. Your friends came all this way to die. Mandalore is holding them back. Any crew that can stand are working on repairs, Mandalore. Keep on them. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Ras, any sign of ships circling back? Nothing. Apart from failing to rid the galaxy of my crotchety brother, they must have what they came for. The Kadera Banner. I don't get it. What's it mean to her? Clan Kadera started an uprising against Mandalore the Vindicated. Refused to side with the Sith. Refused the call by their leader. To them, it was a matter of honor. Right or wrong, they were wiped out. It doesn't explain why she went to all this trouble. It's a symbol of rebellion. Maybe something for those outcasts to rally around. Perhaps. But it feels like there's more to it. I don't know how she did it, but these groups should be slitting each other's throats, not working together. Something personal is driving her. We can't let her divide us, Mandalore. Another civil war will rip us apart. Let me find her and end this. We can't go charging into the unknown. We hardly know anything about her. We have no choice. We can't let the trail go cold. I'll leave at once. You're in no shape for this kind of fight, you old Rancor. Parjak! Then stop wasting time and go find this traitor, Mandalore. I'll take care of things here. My hunt ends only in death. Hers? Or mine. Would it really be so simple? I wish it could be, but there are probably more attacks coming. I name Jakaya Ordo as Arbiter. On all matters, you speak with my voice and my authority. Prepare the clans for war! That was successful. Messy, but successful. You got your Kadera banner, Field Marshal Cole. At great cost. Are the Ashad not used to enemies shooting back? A shame Clan Varad can contain things on their ship once Shay's minions arrived. Your precious followers got just as bloody. The difference is our reputation will increase. Unlike yours. We're good to go for the next phase, Field Marshal. Darmanda must have got their credits. Stop. It's true Clan Varad failed to contain the situation. Let's talk about that. Thermal detonator! Good reflex this time. What we're missing here is the understanding that we must rely on each other. For example, if he lets go of that, we die. 
We all want something enough to bleed for it. Reputation, honor, credits, whatever. That conviction binds us together, makes us equal. So I'll need everyone to stay committed to each other. Like our lives depend on it. The Mandalorians have lost their way. They didn't remain committed. I will show them our unbroken history of honor that yet remains. A hidden chain of proud tradition waiting to drag the unworthy down. We have chosen a side in this battle. And we fight to win. You have your assignments. Go. Mando Adardigo.